Well, several million babies were delivered today, right in the middle of a Maryland river. Alex Demetric reports on the beginning of oyster planting season, where new life hitches a ride on recycled shells. The cargo aboard this boat is designed to be dropped overboard. Thousands of bushels of recycled oyster shells going into the Tread Avon River, each shell carrying tiny baby oysters called spat. Yesterday we planted 16.8 million spat on shell, so I'm guessing today's load of spat on shell will be a similar number. The boat and shell come from the Oyster Recovery Partnership. Here's how it works. Restaurants and packing houses save their oyster shells for the partnership, which picks them up year-round. They are then transported to Cambridge, where they are cleaned, dried, and stored at the University of Maryland's Horn Point Lab. The Oyster Recovery Partnership and the University of Maryland are joined at the hip as far as this oyster thing goes. Because at the lab's hatchery, when oysters reproduce, their microscopic larvae are collected and fed algae grown at the lab. When they are old enough, the larvae then go into tanks to eventually settle on the recycled shells to become spat. The partnership and the state then plant the oysters in sanctuaries, giving nature a kickstart. And that's what this really is, to try and get those uh, restoration tributaries and sanctuaries moving uh, so the oyster population can rebound. Before the year is over, this operation will be repeated 40 times. A rescue mission following decades of disease and over-harvesting in the past, bringing native populations back to self-sustaining levels will likely take decades as well, meaning hope is also riding with new life. Alex Dimitri, WJZ. Oyster recovery is viewed as critical to a healthier bay. Oyster bars provide habitat for other life, and one oyster, just one oyster, can fill up to 50 filter up to 50 gallons of water a day.